Super Mario Party is the best party in two console generations. It's done away with some, but not all, of the slowness of previous games. You get to play a ton of great mini games, and that infuriating randomness of awarded stars at the end of the game is still a problem. But even those painful upsets can feel like less of a party killer this time, because Super Mario Party is competitive, strategic, and above all, a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Super Mario Party is a collection of hit-or-miss virtual board games, broken up by competitive mini-games. There's a sheen of quality that previous Mario Parties noticeably lacked. It doesn't approach the level of graphical or gameplay fidelity as Super Mario Odyssey, but party fans will notice the bump. The main Mario Party mode has four main boards to play with branching paths. The boards are fun, but simpler than those of the best Mario Parties. Because there are only four to choose from, your party time might be limited. The mode I ended up liking best is Partner Party, which recycles the four maps from Mario Party, but adds a co-op partner and the ability to choose your own path. You and your partner can tackle different things around the board, scooping up allies, gathering stars, and stomping on opponents. Playing with a friend ramped up the competitive vibe of the party, which I loved, and added complexity. Super Mario Party needs that to keep from feeling like a simple roll of the dice. In both Mario Party and Partner Party modes, minigames really matter because you need to beat your opponents consistently to win coins. Winners! Pair this with some light strategy and you should come out ahead, but the downside is that it's just dumb luck rather than skill that decides who gets the bonus stars at the end. Unique dice blocks are one of the coolest new features in Super Mario Party. Each character has a different numbered block. Mario gives you more chances at threes with little risk, while Wario's can give you a chance at a six at the risk of losing coins. This makes for an extra layer of strategy that I really enjoyed. There are several standalone minigames that make use of the Switch's ability to sense and interact with another console nearby. If you have two Switches and two copies of Super Mario Party, you can play Banana Split, a pretty astounding tech demo but not much of a game, and Shell Shock Deluxe, which is meatier than Banana Split but still simplistic compared to the main party modes. There are other modes and standalone games in Super Mario Party 2, like co-op and rhythm games, but my party crew kept returning to Mario Party and Partner Party. Super Mario Party requires every player to use a single Joy-Con to take advantage of unique 3D rumble effects and motion controls. While this makes for some wacky mini-games, the hardware presents some pretty serious problems as well. For example, for a four-person game, you'll need the four Joy-Con, the little wrist strap attachments, and a lot of charging time. You can buy more Joy-Con and a charger to solve the problem, but that can get expensive. Super Mario Party's biggest win and its best surprise is its top-notch batch of 80 minigames. It's easily the best in years, and I can't think of any that were so stupid or boring that they're worth warning you about. Good ones include Dash and Dine, a shameless but fun overcooked clone, Sizzling Steaks, a motion-controlled game about frying a meat cube, and Slapperazzi, which has players jostle and punch their way to get in front of a photo. <laughs> Super Mario Party adds an awesome new layer of strategy, 80 mostly great minigames, and the quirky tech of the Switch controllers to keep things feeling fresh. The downside is that with the Switch's controllers come some annoyances that make getting people settled onto your couch a bit more of a hassle than previous parties. And the best games are prone to annoying random upsets. But it's far better paced than recent games, and Super Mario Party reset my expectations of the series with its graphics and gameplay creativity. For more Super Mario Party, check out this video of all 80 minigames, or this look at the cool multi-switch games in Toad's Rec Room. For all things Mario and parties, keep it locked to IGN.